everybody, it's Leslie with your June forecast. And here we are. Here we are. Entertainment and recreation and friends are a great combination for you this month. But first I want to thank you very much, very much for all your nice comments and for all your help with all your prayers on my comment page. I really appreciate that because um, I'm having some surgery on the 28th on my back, which this is, this is yours, but I was very, very, very um, nice of you. And you're making a terrific progress. You're really making good progress. And this Pure de Romance brings true love to you. Really do. Um, for this month, month of June. June is, uh, May and June have been very good months. Actually, very good months. Um, it'll support you in the affected behavior. In other words, you'll like your behavior. You'll like yourself better this month. And that's wonderful. You'll get into situations that will influence you and infuriate you both. And and you awaken in a very strong emotional state in your mind that you will not be able to cope cope with um, yourself. That ever before, which will just support your emotional outbursts. outbursts. Um, uh, on the other hand, you'll have excess of energy driving you to good results in sports activities and acquiring new skills. You'll have a great potential so use it and try to enter uh, a competition. And you're very competitive anyway, Leo, a lot of you are. Um, so try and do things for yourself. Uh, this, the month of June, Leo's, you'll be under the power influence of Mars. The connection will mean unpredictability and nervousness for them. And you know, Mars is, is the um, planet of war. And it means it will be in your, it will be in your, um, in your planet, it'll be in your horoscope, however you want to call it, astrology. Um, you will have trouble with standing the negative from others and stay calm. Prepare for frequent quarrels. And, quarrels. and this month, on oh Leo, and it has, this has been building for you in quite a while. I'd say the last um, maybe five or six months, people have been hard to deal with for you. You don't know why. You haven't changed. Uh, they just seem unfriendly. They seem to be or difficult or... Um, indifferent, I don't know the right word to you. Indifferent probably is the best one. Um, people that you always thought were friends or you know very good, um, strong acquaintances. Um, Nobody, you seem to feel alone. And there's another plant that feels this way too. Um, it will go away. It will pass for you. In fact, your um, Mars will will is a, also a planet of activity. So and that's very much for you, very strong for you this month of June. So that will help you a lot. You'll have. Trouble withstanding the negativity, as I said, but I would I would suggest here, take the high road, no matter what. If sometimes you know if someone gives you stones, give them a piece of candy. I know because it's very hard for someone. It's very very hard for someone to continue being uh, indifferent to someone who's very kind to them. On the contrary, this connection's benefit is that you will be in a great shape, and that it's a, it is a planet of energy. And you'll want to do some workout or some walking. Uh, you'll desire sport and be very initiative in it. And something maybe you haven't done before, but always wanted to. And of course, we know pickleball is very, very popular now. In short, you will not sit idle for a moment, and you will continuously look for activities that will keep you busy because you never have enough. You never have enough. You never have enough activities. However, you should be careful not to do too much at once you might be able to cope with in the future. And do be careful of that, folks, because you do do that, Leo. And your leadership is good, um, but be careful not to push people too much um, because you have so much energy. You're like you're happier if you have six things to do on the back burner instead of one or two because you just like that busy, busy and something to look forward to. But um, anyway, that's very good. Let me see what the cards have installed for you. Here we go. Oh, the fool. And the fool. And the learning the end beginning and the end of things. I want you to let things go. Let's see. Well, um, this is in the past, but it could be in a, in a near past or right now the, fu the future because it's for now um, 
it's a good time to try new things. Uh, don't be afraid to try new things, especially in this month. And here you are, as I said in the last one, take the high road. Being mean, offer the rose, put the rose out there for energy. Um, and here you are, deciding to go somewhere with with your, your belongings with you, kind of, so, so to speak. It could be just uh, figuratively in speech. And you're kind of afraid to jump off this, and this little dog is barking at your ankles, but it wants you to go. And do remember, there's always someone down there to catch you, and remember that you've always done such a wonderful job in friendship, in work, that you can always go back. So go for it, I would say. What have you got to lose? Think that to yourself. What have you got to lose but to take a chance, especially if it's a new job, a new career? Uh, you're wondering about the money? The money is probably one of the real activities. You, you probably, you can work into this new position, but you have to learn a little bit. But that's expected of anybody because you must have the basic background. Um, so here you are, and you are right now your thoughts are like the ships at the sea rolling over the wave, waves, as you can see there. Um, you don't have anything to lose because you can always go back to where you feel secure. And But you're kind of unhappy to leave, and that's part of this. Unhappy to leave where you are, uh, and this could be a relationship also. It could be a relationship. Um, and you know that it hasn't been the best for you. You're not happy with it. The last angel card for um, for the last uh, planet I did was was um, was you just you, you just got to take a chance. I mean, even if if it's not easy, love was not meant to be hard. Difficult, you have to uh, settle some differences or uh, negativity, but not really hard. And here you are. Oh my, what a card in between these two. This one is getting rid. No, you have to leave something, but you don't want to. And here you are, knowing which one to take. And if the money will be good, the money will be okay. It may take you a little bit to get where you want to, but you'll start at a good good salary. And if this, I said this was so unusual because this is telling you something, and this one here is saying, temperance always, I always feel like it's turned, um, you can put oil and water together, which they don't mix very well. But this, you can, you'll know what to do. And if you don't, Try what it's new, even if it's a romance. Um, and it's hard to leave an old romance and live, so, live somewhere because it's comfortable. Um, don't be afraid. that this, they'll, this will work out for enough time that you'll know if that's what you want. And the person is very, very, very giving, very loving, and very kind. And, uh, gee, there's a the word again, kind. And uh, it's not most people. A lot of people that you know aren't, aren't really kind. When push comes to shove and you really need some kindness or you need someone to be there for you, and just if they could understand what you're going through, um, this person will. And that was the trouble with the last relationship. There was no, no sense of responsibility to be caring and loving and kind. And, and here's, here you are. Your opposition is yourself um, because here you have the pinnacle. You're worried about the money. Um, you're worried about the other person that was in in this person's life, the new person's life. But um, just don't worry about. It. Don't be afraid to spend a little money as far as taking person out for dinner or to an affair or something special. They won't take advantage of you. And here you are, really. Um, and the wand is wonderful here. Really wondering, and this is symbolic for a man or a woman if that's the right thing for you to do, if that is the right thing for you to do. Oops. And Sue has your angel card, and it is be creative in your love life. Very nice, very good for you, and be creative with yourself. And your best days are the 2nd, the, the 11th, and the 20th. Have a wonderful month, and don't forget our special. Our special is um, $25 off 30 minutes for for the first week of, of um, June. So you could try that. And also, you know, it's if you have 10, 15 minute readings or more in 30 days, you will get a free 30 minute reading. Bye-bye.